All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Imar Sapatut, the Sports Inquirer, always joining you on our video. And just want to give an update of things we have on the site that uh, has been up over the past few days. We just recorded the Sports Inquirer show, very good show that we did on this on the site. Our highlights included reviewing Atlanta United's uh, nil-nil draw against Orlando City to start their MLS season. We have audio from Brooks Lennon, Captain Brad Guzan, and manager Gabriel Heinze. So make sure you give a listen to that. I also delve into the European Super League and a lot of thoughts on there. And this is what happens when you record a show and you, you, you post it and there's art things happen after the show. So I actually, I mentioned Chelsea being involved in the European Super League. We recorded it this morning. They're not out of the European Super League, but still those 11 squads are in there. I delve deep into it and give kind of a, a comparison between the European Super League and major college sports here in the United States. So I thought that was just a good analogy to make it more palpable and more tangible for people who are unfamiliar with the European soccer system with uh, UEFA. Because I heard some very interesting takes from people that are not necessarily experts in it. I'm not an expert, but I know a lot about it. But there were some novices out there who were acting like they were, you know, the the greatest sports journalist in the world about it. And it frustrated me. So I gave my perspective on it and my thing and my opinions of it. I also delved into Georgia State Volleyball, the team or Georgia Tech Volleyball, excuse me, and their run in the NCAA tournament. We have some audio from head coach Michelle Collier and player Kayla Kaiser. So that's included in the show. And then we wrapped up the Sports Acquire show with the miscellaneous department. We delved into the Jake Paul Ben Askren boxing match that took place this previous weekend and how it was going to impact the future of combat sports. Alex Smith's retirement from the NFL and his return to the field after that broken leg and, and with the Washington football team. I did a long diatribe on Trevor Lawrence in the Sports Illustrated comments, and I'll touch on it a little bit now. My opinion was that not every athlete is built the same. We hear all the time of these athletes who are mad at the world, they feel disrespected, and they're disgruntled, and they want to you know, prove all the haters wrong, they have a chip on their shoulder, and I think it's just an easy media narrative that the players buy into and the in the, the media and it's just they all it's all this one system of angry professional athletes and that's not the case at all for the most part and I I just bring up Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Aaron Rodgers and their approach to things compared to Trevor Lawrence and his approach to everything that's going on. So I, I highly recommend that you listen to the show to get that in. And I also touched on Mike Tomlin signing an extension with the Pittsburgh Steelers to remain their head coach through the 2024 season. So that was all on the show. And I'll have snippets of that coming out over the next 24 to 48 hours of those different topics that I brought up. We're also able to get a very good interview with Robert uh, Greenwalds, a tennis player, a men's tennis player for Georgia State. Their team's preparing for the Sun Belt Tournament. So we were able to speak with him about everything going on with the team. And that should be up later on today on uh, April 20th. So make sure you look out for that. And then we also did an interview with Georgia State Beach Volleyball players, Kelly Dorn and Kate Novak. They also have their conference tournament. They're in the CCSA and they're not in the Sun Belt, uh, but we were able to speak with both of them about everything that's going on in with the team and with them as a doubles unit. So make sure you look out over the next day or two uh, for those stories and, or those our articles of content. We have tentatively scheduled later on this week interviews with a, with Beth Van Fleet, the Georgia State Beach Volleyball head coach. And we also are looking to connect with some entities from the Georgia State men's ten, men's uh, golf team. We spoke with the tennis team today. The men's golf team will be later on this week. So those tentatively scheduled. Hopefully we get those in there and uh, other content. So make sure you go to the site and continue to follow everything that we're doing.